Blah, 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 blah. I already said all this shit. Dicks. Yeah, buddy. All right, buddy. Yeah. I think I knew too much of anything. Can you? No. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Mike Hunt. But you can call me Harry. <laughs> and my name's Jiggly Tits McGee. But you can call me Fuck Off. I'm, wait, I'm Richard. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Dead Dex. Yeah. Uh, today, I'm going to show off this NBA showdown. Look at this pretty title <laughs> on this piece of painter's tape. Custom I label. am fucking fancy. <laughs> Damn, boy. Uh, if so, I'm assuming the people that watch our channel probably watch most of our videos. So, there's... Well, I don't know if it's going to air, but at some point we showed a haul where we got a whole bunch of Duel Masters and uh, there was a fair amount of other cards and there was a lot of uh, NBA Showdown that came with it that we kind of just passed over. Didn't even mention it much. And I got to looking deeper and I had a near set of uh, NBA Showdown, including most of the key cards that are pretty expensive if you were going to buy them on the open market. So I've been working on getting this set complete and I just got it done. Uh, I think I have about, eh, we'll call it between two and three hundred dollars into completing the set. I don't remember how many cards I needed a, it, at the time when I started. Probably th thirty to forty, including the strategy cards. There was a fair amount I needed, but I was close enough that I just went ahead and started working on it. Most of the stuff was easy to get pretty quickly. I got all the strategy cards the first day I looked. Those were pretty easy to come by. Anyway, so we're just going to talk about this for a few minutes. I don't know that we'll get to this ever again. We may play it someday as we do all games. Oh, yeah, we will. Sure. Um, but as you can see immediately, they're they're organized by team and alphabetically by the the city or the town or whatever the hell, state, wherever they are. So Atlanta Hawks, Boston Celtics, the first two. So in alphabetical order. Each team roughly has mm. one to two rares. Some have one rare. Some have two rares. Uh, there is no uncommons in this set, hmm. only commons and rares. Uh, I don't know about the strategy cards. Uh, uh, there are rares and commons as well. I don't know how they were inserted in packs if you got one of each. I'm not certain on that. Richard might show something in the Bible over here. Well, I'm looking, but... Uh, this, these all came out. Uh, <clears throat> this is a 2002 NBA showdown. They only made one set. There were no key rookie cards for major sports stars in this set at all. So there's not a lot of um, financial value as far as rookies go, but there's still a few key players that command quite a bit of money. Uh, if Michael Jordan had been in this set, it'd probably be a $500 card based on other players that we'll talk about here in a minute. Uh, they only made this one set. Uh, it came out at the same time as MLB Showdown, NFL Showdown. They made a couple years, maybe three sets of that, including one kind of a specialty set. Uh, we have a really good review of NFL Showdown if you want to go watch that. <laughs> Just look it up on the channel. Yeah, boy. And it's quite in-depth. Um, <laughs> let's see what else we can say about this real quick. Uh, it was made during the sports car TCG kind of a lull. They really didn't. Print runs weren't crazy at this point, so there weren't a lot of this stuff made, I don't think. Oh, whiskey. Mm-hmm. Um, this is harder to find, especially sealed. Um, if you find a box under $600, you're probably looking at a pretty good deal because the crackout rate and resale on singles would probably exceed even $600, assuming you hit one or two of the bigger cards. And you may get duplicates, obviously. Uh, this is made by Wizards of the Coast, if you didn't know. Um... And it's based around D20 rolls on a team of five. So you have a, a, a player from for each position, two guards, uh, two forwards, and a center. And then you, I think you even have to break it down by if it's a shooting guard or a point guard, uh, power forward, small forward, all that. You can see here, this is, it may be hard to see here, but it says SF, small forward. This guy can play shooting guard and small forward, blah, mm. blah, blah. So you have a team of five, and then you have in the back, I'll just briefly, we're not going to go over the strategy cards much anyway. But you have strategy cards for both offense and defense, and those augment your roles, and uh, you play four quarters, and you're trying to score points. You know, it's it's not overly complex, and you can play a game in 10 or 15 minutes, which would be the only reason we'd ever play this, because it'd be quick. Um, 
the starter decks, getting back to sealed stuff, are cheap because they're fixed. They both come with uh, two rares, and uh, those rares are always fixed. They're always John Stockton and always Dikembe Mutombo. Hmm. So those rares are stupid cheap, a couple dollars a piece, if that. Uh, the commons, I believe, and strategy cards are random, but they don't really matter as far as value goes, so there's no reason to buy more than one starter. So you can get starters for 20 bucks or less. And even that, to me, is kind of high, but that just kind of shows how rare this stuff is. Um, let's see, what else we got here? Well, we'll show some of the key cards here. Like, here's Dirk Nowitzki. Uh, that's a, one of the bigger cards in the set. You know, there, some teams have... Couple of rares that nobody cares about. Um, Ron Mercer, for example, in the Bulls. I mean, you're still going to get 20 bucks for it because they're hard to find, but it's not a big name player. Steve Nash was actually a common in this set before he kind of blew up and became a star. Um, let's see. Is anybody else that I can recognize offhand? Steve Francis, good player back in the day and a little harder to find. It runs $20, $25. Uh, here's the biggest card in the set. I'll take it out so you can see it. Kobe Bryant. Uh, I looked up a couple of recent sales on eBay, and the last one sold for $299. Damn. Yeah. And you, this came with what you got from the... Oh, yeah, man. I already had this in the in my... came in the haul that I got. That was one of the reasons I decided to go ahead and chase it, because I already had yeah. all the key cards that were in the set. So, yeah, it was a $300 card, a, a recent sale. I mean, within the past week or two oh, of me looking all this up it was a, this is june 2024 <clears throat> so it would have been so within the last two weeks of that uh shack is another big card here that's i didn't there's no comps recent comps on shack but i would guess this is probably pushing 80 to 100 for shack he's one of the bigger players in this set um have you ever seen what a set of this would sell for no i've never seen a set for sale I have no idea the actual value. If I was going to put this on eBay, I'd probably throw a couple thousand dollars on it. I was going to say, yeah. And, I, you know, I would entertain some offers, but I don't know. I don't know what it's truly worth. Breakdown value, I have it listed here on my little cheat sheet that 15 to $40 for most rares. And I think there's 53 rares in the set. So you can do the math. That's, you know, it's pretty hefty tally to put it all together. You know, it was Alonzo Mourning. He's a Hall of Famer. That was one of my harder cards to find. One that I've needed that one for a long time. Uh, Kevin Garnett. That's another higher dollar card, thirty-four dollars. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else I got to say about it? Uh, the main set has two hundred twenty-eight player cards uh, and fifty strategy cards. They're numbered differently, and they're not part of the. They're saying you know, they're, they're, it's just like a subset or an insert set. The strategy cards are not numbered in the same order or anything. Um, let's see who else we got in here that's worth talking about. There's Grant Hill. Uh, that one, uh, it's like it's about thirty dollar card. Trace McGrady, that's a rare too. Uh, there's the Kimmy Matumbo, which is the starter deck rare, not worth anything. Um, <clears throat> like I said, if Shaq or if Jordan was in this set, it'd, he'd be a high dollar card. Uh, Tim Duncan, that one was hard for me to find though. They don't. A few have popped up since I bought this one, and thirty, forty dollars for that one too. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, and even just some of your basic rares, Gary Payton, um, Peter Storjakovic. I mean, you're still talking fifteen, twenty, twenty-five dollars for these kinds of cards. Dave Robinson, I think, was a forty-dollar card, give or take. I think I had to buy that one too. Um, Allen Iverson is also in this set, Philadelphia. He's got to be curious. Alan Iverson, that's the third biggest card in this set, probably, behind Kobe and Shaq. And one recently sold for $99 within a couple of days of me uh, looking at it. So I didn't realize that that would go that high, but somebody must have really needed that card. These look pristine, too. Yeah, huh? they're good in condition. Um, this, yeah, it came from the same, same hall that had all the Duel Masters, and all those Duel Masters were in immaculate condition, too. So... There were a couple cards that were a little bent up in Dean's, and luckily one of them was John Stockton, which is the cheapest rare in the set, so it didn't really matter. I thought I was, I was like, well, I'll just keep it in my set because, you know, it's probably going to be a $40 card. No, that's before I do it was in the starters. Did um, you buy a replacement? I did, yeah. Two dollars <clears throat> shipped. Anyway, I, I did say, you see, key cards. I mentioned Kobe, Shaq, uh, Kevin Garnett, Nowitzki, Duncan, Allen Iverson, Paul Pierce, Vince Carter, David Robinson, Tracy McGrady, Jason Kidd. That was some of the bigger names from back in this time frame with the NBA. Um, 
Uh, so we'll see. Uh, game is a five on five. I already mentioned all this. Runs and quarters like an NBA game. Scoring based on D20 growth. Blah, 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 blah. I already said all this shit. I'm just repeating myself now. You didn't say white chocolate. It's white not worth chocolate? that much. Uh, Jason Williams? Yeah. I no, I think he's a common. Who would he have been on? The Kings? Kings, I would. Nah, was he on the Kings? He was at one point. Uh, I don't know if he was in this time period or not. No, where did he end up at? Did he go to the Heat? Maybe. I want to say he played. I know he played for the Heat at some point. Because I'm pretty uh, sure that's where he played with Shaq. I don't know why I know that, but I feel pretty confident. There he is, Jason Williams. Grizzlies. Yeah. Grizzlies. Memphis Grizzlies. <coughs> oh, white chocolate. Played at Florida. If you're really big into sports. Is he worth anything? That's a common, so not much. He shouldn't be a common. Shame yeah. on <laughs> Yeah, some some of the the players you would think would be rares. Scotty Pippen was a common. Huh. He's on the Portland Trailblazers at this point. I guess they were, he's aging. They were aging out, though. Yeah, yeah. I was it's sort of the tail end of. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's Pippen. All the older guys have been transferred around at this point. And yeah. Yeah, he's a common. I'll be damned. I'm pretty common myself. And let me show you the hardest common I had to find. And I, I want to, I, I just want to think that it was short printed. I guess make myself feel better. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but it took me a long time to find old Juwan Howard. I had to actually ask somebody that was selling cars if they had a copy of this. Uh, it was the only common I needed. And it took me three months to find a copy of it. And I Damn. never saw one listed for sale. I actually saw one recently listed that was in a lot. And if I needed it, I would have bought it. But, um, I, I mean, there was no copies anywhere on the internet that I could find. What if they uh, just accidentally fucked up the print sheets? Yeah, it's possible. Anyway, I mean, it's a good-looking set. You know, Hell yeah, it is. Because it's, it's sports cards, really. Uh, I like how they shadowed out the background. Yeah. They just made the player the forefront. The, the aesthetic's awesome. Yeah. And uh, I like the little the box, the name. Everything, everything about it is, is slick. It's very little border. This yeah. is nice, small real estate. Yeah, these are sharp cards. Yeah, and, you know, your player is the focus of every card. They're not in the background, except for on the strategy stuff. But that that should be. And, you know, it's yeah. They're they're who cares cards for the most part. Um, and they and they look completely different, obviously. And there's offense and defense, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. And they actually have ability, so they got right. beard. Yeah, but still, still yeah. good looking. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, this is, this is Wizards, and it was 2002, so they by this point they knew what the fuck they were doing. Uh, print runs were tight, so you know this stuff is rare and. It's valuable, and it doesn't matter what rare you have. Darius, no, Darius was not. Lamar Odom was a rare. I think I had to buy that. I think it was a twenty-five dollar card. But you know, there's very few Lamar Odom cards that are twenty-five dollars nowadays. <laughs> um, Jalen Rose is he a rare? Yeah, same deal. I mean, he was a decent player, but he's you know he's not commanding Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant prices. But that's probably still a twenty dollar card minimum. There's very few cards I see that go less than ten dollars on rares. That's crazy. Yeah, besides the two fixed cards, obviously. So, anyway, that's probably enough about this shit, right? And if you're gonna show off a set, this is one of the ones to do. Fuck's sake. Yeah, we'll do we'll do one more little flip there. We'll, so we'll, just, we'll show every goddamn page because I don't know if I even fucking showed it all. I just flipped through randomly. Fuck, I don't know. So, uh, Bulls. Who we got next. I can't reach it. Cleveland. Dallas. Other people's all nuggets. teams have a slightly different frame color too. Yeah, and I like that they're all the players are in order in a team by number. So these are all in numerical order. They're not by team. They're just numerically done this way, which I appreciate. Yeah, it's aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, uh, I didn't even look to see if they were done in alphabetical order, and it does appear that they are. Brand, nope. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe by no, last yeah, name. No, Brandt, Getty, yeah. McKinnis, Miles, Odom, Olukande, Potowski, Richardson, Brooks. Mm -hmm. Sure enough, Bryant, Fisher, Fox. So even in alphabetical in the... God damn, that's good. There you go, Wizards. <laughs> I was thinking position would have been cool, but I bet they didn't do like a line up. Yeah, I don't think so because you got some players that you have one or two or three of the same yeah. position. Yeah, they just picked... I don't know. Who knows what they picked? Yeah, I don't even know. I didn't check to see that every every team had one of every player either. It's possible that they don't even. I somehow missed even the faded backgrounds have the same tint. Yeah. For the same teams. That's that's a cool touch too. Yeah. They're all a slightly different color tint. Yep. It kind of color matches 
That's yeah. That's fucking. That's very cool. Yeah, it's a well done set. Yeah. I kind of wish they'd done more of these. Uh, I know baseball looks good. We, uh, we mentioned earlier the NFL showdown, and that was a disaster. Um, <laughs> that was garbage. Uh, but the, this and we haven't touched MLB show MLB showdown. We will at some I've point. Seen a couple cards. Oh uh, yeah, I we haven't done any cards, but I haven't had a hand uh, hands on a bunch of them like this to kind of look at them a lot. But anyway, there's there's Kobe's only other card in the set really, and you know that was worth three hundred dollars. It's just worth maybe ten if you're lucky. Hmm. Um, it's not worth a ton, but yeah, he ain't got his name in it. People ain't gonna know, right? Anyway, that's my complete set of NBA Showdown. All 228 cards plus the 50 strats. And I guess they never did do another set. No, it's the only set they ever produced. So. Yeah. Well, shit then, how'd you do? Yeah, good enough. Fuck, I'd say you tore it ass up, buddy.